How's it going, Blazers? It just works out to be Mailbag Monday. Yeah. There's a lot of stuff in the mailbox today. Uh, so I'm just going to do a quick run through on this stuff. Some things I'm really looking forward to, uh, and others that are just kind of tools that I need to pick up anyway. So we got that, and then we got that, and then we got that, and then we got that. All came in the mail today. So let's, what do we got? Open it with the We Practic. So, Blade Show folks, I'm committing to try and offer you um, some great stuff. So, picked up a, a shotgun mic. So try and get some great audio at Blade Show. And also, what else we got in here? And also, we got other little things. A little stand. And a little mount. And you can hear my dog's nails on the floor. But also got a little mount. So how this is going to work. This is going to mount there. That will mount there. This will mount there. And then I also picked up a gimbal. So I'm going to try and have smooth video. Very quality audio. All for Blade Show, all for you guys. So we'll see how that works out. And then we got that going. So move that to the side. What else we got? So we'll see what's in this box. So this box. Has... A lot of things my kids like to pop. And. Civivi. And so this one actually now came in from Mass Drop. Uh, so I did pick it up from them. Uh, I had a ten dollar credit, so this came out to like thirty something. Um, so it actually was worth a little wait, hopefully. Uh, so we'll see how this one goes out. And then it kind of is an interesting comparison. I have to cut around the camera here without cutting myself. Uh, so kind of an interesting comparison between like the Practic just got in for the pass around and to this Civivi. So same little pouch. And very nice G10. I mean that's that is super grippy. And like straight off pivot. I like oop, it's out of focus. Uh, there you go. So, I mean, pivot alone, I love that a lot more than I like that. This reminds me of fidget spinners. That does not. So, there's that. Clips. Loop. And, ooh, yeah. So, first opinion on that. This is about $150. This was $30. And right now, uh, probably going to be the Civivi. Oh, yeah. So that's going to be that one. So sorry, a little bit of a break in that. But Civivi, uh, this is the backlash. And this is going to be the Practic. So far, Practic is losing to a $40 knife, roughly. Uh, so, just basic in hand uh, feeling for that. I do prefer this one over this knife. Crazy that you can get that type of value. Because this is we. So, this is their budget line. Uh, just like we had uh, the other. So, very happy with that one so far as far as that experience of that. So, uh, thank you very much to uh, uh, S Milk 327. 
he kind of pushed me to get that one. He said if I didn't like it, uh, then he would buy it off of me. Sadly, I probably will keep that one. So um, you can still pick up the you know, off of uh, some other sites. Hopefully you got it from Mass Drop, uh, but we'll see how that goes. So we got another one here. We'll see what this one is. So also we're gonna have uh, the giveaway later this week. So uh, do subscribe and comment. I'm just gonna do a comment poll from everything and then see who wins. Uh, so it's gonna be uh, the Tuya knife. Well, not not Tuya knife, I apologize. It's not the Tuya. It's gonna be the Fura knife. So this is one that I got in uh, the rake knife. Uh, the other knife that I had, the rake front flipper, it seemed like that was the only person that got a bad one. Uh, all, of, all the other videos, uh, they said that they were really good. Action was good. Weight was good. The front flipper is the 671. And I was the only one there with a bad one. So I sent it back to Rake. Uh, folks at uh, the um, gearforlife.com, uh, they, they upheld it. They went and took it back. They even sent me a prepaid label for it. Uh, but I already sent it back before that. Uh, and then they just really took care of me. But uh, sadly for myself, they were sold out. So I picked up this knife. Uh, this is the Rake. Don't know what model number this one was. So LD11. So with the popularity of uh, some of the knives that are coming out, uh, some of the ones that have um, more of the uh, slip joints, I did pick this knife up. Uh, to see if it would actually hold up. So this one is that's super grippy too uh, for that. So this is kind of a liner lock but not really. Uh, so that's going to have a little bit of that play to it. It's more of like a safety feature. So I don't know if you can actually disable that or not, um, but the initial feeling of this one. So it does have that half stop. So this is going to be a slip joint uh, with a safety feature. So all the folks that are afraid of getting slip joints because they've um, either cut themselves, knew somebody that cut themselves, this can give you a little bit more confidence uh, because it does have a lock and that goes go over to basically a hundred percent of that lockup because it is uh, just that safety feature but it still is a slip joint and thing about this slip joint uh, that i got in uh, also this is again from uh, the folks over at gearforlife.com uh, this one does have a gloss break and this one does have somewhere where is it? Oh, there it is. Also does have tweezers. You don't know how many times that I've been somewhere and I wanted tweezers. Now I have tweezers. I just find that to be amazing. And then this also does have a deep carry pocket clip. So that holds really well. Uh, so with this knife, I believe this one also is produced by San Renmu, uh, if I am not mistaken. Correct me in the comments down below if that is incorrect, but I think you can get this from San Renmu as well. And I did see another one uh, from, I think it was Boker, um, which may be the origination of this, uh, but so far for a slip joint with a thumb stud, added safety, I think Rake just made up for the other knife that I got. So check that out. We're going to have something further on that a little later on as well. So that got that knife in. What else we got? I think I got some other stuff. And this one. And is a mess. But this one is uh, one that I've been waiting for. And for some reason, the post office sent it back. And so you have to send it back out again. So death of all things. Uh, this is one thing I was looking forward to, uh, which are these scales for my mini Griptilian. Let's see what this looks like. So 
So that is awesome. So I don't know if that's going to come through well, but but these are for my mini Griptilian, and that is nice. So it does move in light. That's one thing that I was you know, kind of concerned with on the pictures. It doesn't really come through very well. Uh, nothing against anybody that takes pictures, so it's, uh, but uh, it does play with the light uh, very well uh, for the scale. Uh, so if you do want to pick that up, uh, Death of All Things that makes a lot of different styles. There's ones with little inlays in it. Uh, it does go up in price again for that, but uh, you can get Mar Micarta, you can get a G10. Uh, so this is just going to be great. Uh, so do appreciate that. Uh, 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 what was it some of the assistance with this uh, came from uh, Steve uh, Kluver? Uh, so do appreciate him uh, very much for that. Uh, he went and offered uh, to pay for uh, partial, uh, basically half of these scales. So basically, Steve uh, bought one of these, and I bought the other one, kind of like that. But uh, I had to pick this one up. I got it with the uh, line, uh, liner delete. So it does not have the liner hole anymore. And then I also got it uh, with just uh, one carry, which is the right hand tip up, which is the way that I carry the blade. So it does not have that other side to it because I do not intend to sell this uh, because now that was a, a very gracious gift and I'm not going to sell something that I got gifted. Uh, so that's going to be how that is. I think I got everything. Uh, we do also have the gimbal coming in. Uh, that should be here on Wednesday. So sorry it went a bit long on that. I just wanted to get through a lot of those things because I was really surprised I got so much things in the mail today. Uh, but I got to in install these and see how that is. And yeah. So thanks everyone again for your time. Uh, do like and subscribe. Uh, let me know what you think in the comments down below. And also let me know what you're wanting for a blade show. Uh, West 2018.